I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss you Good riders We're on our way It's a surprisingly civil time of 4.57 And we're on our way to the to the finish and uh, little gas stop in Matara is first up at 150 k's okay so we're on Gore Road towards Gore we've just turned off from Lumsden the 80 k's into it which is pretty cool here in Southland this morning ambient temperature on the on the dash is about seven degrees probably about right For a fog in Southland. We're coming into Belfour. What time is it? 5.53. What's in Belfour? Mate, is that an old Ford Falcon there? That's the old Ford Falcon. I think it's an old Ford Falcon 500. The sky is out and it's clear. Check that out. Don't know if you can see, but the stars are out. Wow. Southland's really putting it on. Oh, the fog's back. I wonder if it's Southland's way of perhaps giving you a bit of a cuddle, bringing the fog in like this. It's just, it's a bit like a, an unwanted cuddle. Oh yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Southland, that's enough. Oh yeah, we're coming into Gore. Gore. Gore has got some cool buildings. Good morning, Gore. Yeah. Gore must have been a rich town at the time. I mean, it still looks nice, but... Jason is progressive store, McClutchins. We're coming into Matara. And we've got the freezing works on our left, the Alliance Meats. I tell you what, it is not warm in Matara. Flip an egg. Oh, we're stopping at the Caltex here if it's open. I don't know what the temperature is, but I've got a heated jacket on and I'm freezing. Caltex, uh, Matara, eh? your legend, the lady there. Uh, we're just opening up. And, uh, geez, I was wondering why it's so friggin' cold. It's three degrees in Southland, in Matara. Oh my god. Hopefully going the right way. Yep. Oh, some nice buildings in the tower. Here we go. Okay, we're off to a checkpoint at a place, I can't remember the name, it starts with T, about 11 kilometres away. Take your sign to the school here. Totoro School, that's on we're after. Why didn't it take us up there? How many kilometres? Ah, uh, three kilometres by gravel. I don't like a bit of gravel in the morning. Three degrees, morning sheep. Well, we don't need to do the things we don't want to do Nice rural landscapes 
McHugh coming into Glenham. Little cute church on the left. What else you got, Glenham? Oh, once was. Maybe some stores. And a community centre. Hey look, you can see the coast down there. About 10 minutes from Tokanui, which is a little town and one of the uh, schools you're going for. Check out the scenery. Oh my goodness. I was chatting to uh, Moto Dan's last night and we're both doing the, uh, the same checkpoint. So we're going to catch up here at 8 o'clock. And then maybe uh, get the last couple together, which would be awesome. Don't really want these corrugations uh, quite like this. I've got my laptop in the, uh, the rear top box, uh, just in case I got caught with Omicron or something. Could do a bit of work down here. Don't really want it shaking all to bits. Welcome to Tokanui. The sun's starting to warm the land up. I'm beating my Rodans here. I must have beaten them. How's it going? Yeah, good, how's things? <laughs> good, thanks. Have you had a good couple of days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the good run. I, I was pretty tired at the end of yesterday, and uh, obviously a bit of rain as well and and stuff. You been here long? Oh, no, only about five minutes. Eugene, Eugene Daniel. <laughs> Daniel Eugene. <laughs> Moto Dan's and I are doing the last couple of checkpoints together. in the Ketlands Rainforest Park. Ah, uh, pretty the sun's right there. So we're going to be beating our way into the sun, unfortunately. Oh, it's stunning through here. Tehakopa is a little place that we're in. Well, there's a little place called Owaka. The place of the canoe apparently. Morning Owaka. Javadi, that sounds very uh, European and stylish. We've got some dream catchers. Caitlin's Health and Gifts. Caitlin, sorry. Ooh, Owaka. Nice. Food Expresso Wi Fi. Some nice little cafes. Cafe. Cafe. I can get a good espresso in uh, Owaka. 50 k's from the end now. Greetings, I believe, Bell Clutha. Oh, now they didn't have pies in that BP last year at the TT. I had to have this, this weird sort of microwaved croissant. 
And we got the Hell 2000 in uh, Belclutha. Oh, some cool buildings down there. Dollar deals. It's always the way now. Oh, some fellas having some breakfast. Recognise them from a checkpoint. And ladies. Here we go with the Pont de Belclutha. In these houses up here of course I've got this beautiful vista down onto the water elevated views Just look at this Art Deco place it's got the view of the the Pont de Belclutha marvellous pretty town Belclutha might retire to Belclutha well thinking about some concluding thoughts for the uh, the TT this year I have to say that the the organizers uh, Shannon and, and Mark and uh, the organising uh, committee, if that's the right term, have uh, done an absolute stunner. And uh, this is a great theme with the rural sort of primary schools dotted all over the, uh, the South Island. And uh, it meant that people planned some really interesting routes. It's also really hard to work out what your route was going to be and what you wanted to go and see where you wanted to go and uh, I had an absolute blast uh, day one great fun down from Blenheim and uh, Kaikoura and across the west coast staying in Franz Josef next day Franz Josef you know down to Haast it was a bit dark a bit drizzly through the Haast Pass and then on out to through Linda's Pass down into past all the lakes to the Kakanui and and things it was all good and then back into Glenorchy and then down to Tiana and then today just winding the way from Tiana really down into the Catlins and back towards Milton to the finish really enjoyed it and uh, look forward to another one Always, the ride is all extremely uh, friendly, which is awesome. Chatting and and waving and stuff, it uh, it really makes the it. Finish is at uh, Tokowiti School, where Shannon uh, himself is principal, I believe. Marty Harris, how are you? Room for one. You're naked, mate. Good. I'm feeling quite fresh, actually. Are you? Yeah. <laughs>